say, all right, I want to break that record for appearances? Or? Oh, no, that's just, that was never uh, the plan. It just kind of worked out that way. And uh, just whenever Coach puts me in, whenever he needs us, like somebody's starting to throw in any situation, whether it's one batter or a few innings, and just got to do my job. Is that though a goal of uh, you think of a relief pitcher in general though? Is to pitch in as many games as you possibly can? Uh, not not to as a personal goal, not a like benefit and pitch as many games as you can. It's just to do whatever you can do to help the team win. And if it works out like that and that's how it is, I guess. What did you think of the whole plan when you got here of matching up and what, what Coach Calvi was starting to do then and how that's worked for a couple of years for you? Uh, when I first got here, I had a few different arm slots, and he kept me down full time. Said it would help prevent injury, and I, I did have some trouble with some tendonitis, and and uh, that might have been due to changing arm angles and just getting kind of sloppy with mechanics. But I think going to that one st slot, and staying there, and kind of benefited last year. I'm a lot stronger this year. Able, the reason I'm able to go so much is the work we put in, and the weight room conditioning, and I've changed it. A little bit back, like going over top with some lefties, but that's that's rare. Maybe one once or twice an outing. When did you go down for good? Uh, probably about maybe two or three weeks before my sophomore year at junior college. So, John, so just started so not too long ago. So somebody suggested that then, or? Well, in high school, I always threw one. I threw a changeup kind of sidearm, and then when I got to, to junior college, I said. I drop my arm slot just for one pitch, and they're, they're going to know what it is. So instead of changing my arm slot on one pitch, I changed it from two and went down with a fastball and breaking balls. So was that, who was your coach there? Uh, that's uh, Curtis Hudson, and uh, he's actually a Sox there right now. But he actually put me in an inter-squad game and told the hitters that I was throwing all fastballs from sidearm. Even though they knew what, what was coming, it didn't turn out too bad. And I kind of worked with it and played around and, Paid off. Did you have a feel for how the bullpen would work here? I know they were thinking about using you as a closer to start last season and then how things have evolved for you. Yeah, well, he, I think he asked me a week before the season started last year if, if uh, I was tough enough to be a closer in this league. Uh, I'm not going to say no, and I thought I was, but it's a whole, a whole lot different when you get in the game in front of all those fans. But kind of got used to it after a while, and obviously that's been good that I'm not the closer because Matt's pretty settled in that role pretty well and helped us led us to a championship last year. But I think that everything happens for a reason and everybody's got their roles and it's worked out for the best. What's your scouting report on UConn? Uh, I haven't really checked in with that yet. I think Coach Myers will get that to us. I know they got a heavy right handed hitting uh, lineup, so we'll see where it goes from there. John, I know it's a big week for you having been drafted and of course, uh, you know big, big series coming up. How do you just stay focused on this weekend and on UConn? Um, well, you take it like it's any other weekend. you got to win two games. And uh, we actually had, after I got picked up, their uh, scout called and said to focus on this weekend. And uh, he wished good luck and he'd call after the season was over. So I'm grateful for that. He's not like trying to pressure anything. And he actually apologized for calling. And he knew we, we were um, having a busy week, but he just wanted to Say congratulations and focus on UConn this weekend. Is that hard for you guys to do? I mean, it's like a third of the roster was was drafted. You guys are all kind of. How can you not help but kind of look ahead to what's out there for you? Uh, well, Coach Shane actually said that if we we have to win this weekend. And playing in Omaha is a lot better than playing in some yes. small town in minor league where everybody will kind of forget about us for a while. Be too, guys. But this uh, this it's great playing here. I'm glad I have the opportunity, and hopefully it can. Make it more than this weekend. Pitching staff nice and rested. Oh yeah, I think we uh, everybody's getting rested. We have had some short practices, just getting work in that we need to get done and uh, make sure everybody's ready for this weekend. Can you tell Any sense of disappointment because it's UConn and not Clemson? Not much a sense of disappointment, but I'm sure a lot of people would have loved to have seen that. But uh, we know they're a good team, and we're just grateful to be in this position to play some some battle like that. Can you tell when a guy gets in the batter's box that he isn't really sure about a sidearm guy? Is it about 50-50 for those right-hand batters that they just don't look comfortable or never get comfortable because they don't see it very often? Um, I don't know if when they get in, but I said you get a feel for how they feel like on, on a particular swing or something. But like sometimes you just got to be aggressive, especially coming out of the bullpen and go right out and throw strikes. 
and do your job. And as a reliever, you're not supposed to walk anybody, and that does happen. But when you come out of pen, you're just supposed to throw strikes and get out real quick. Going back to the 